What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about a lot of things. So hold on tight, get your notebooks, and let's get started. Roll intro! So as you can see from the title of this video, we are going to talk about the college entrance tests. So this is going to be a long discussion, so I have divided this video into three parts, which is the review, applying for schools, and the tests themselves. So as for me, I took the UPCAT, the ASSET, the USD set, and the DILSET, the LSU set. So the big four, those are the tests I took and I passed all of them, thankfully. Oh my god. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started on anything. These are all my own personal experiences and tips and it may not work for everyone. So please do not blame me if you do not pass the school that you want to pass. Alright? Okay, let's get started. For our first part, we have review. So this is the most crucial part of your entire set experience kasi ito talaga yung magiging foundation ng lahat ng gagawin mo. So if hindi ka nag-review at all, then <laughs> you're doomed. <laughs> Not exaggerating at all kasi sobrang important talaga mag-review. Okay, so the number one question on everyone's mind is lahat ng mga Grade 12, lahat laging question is, do I have to go to a review center? And the answer is, absolutely not. Sobrang personal choice your review center and it can be quite pricey for a lot of people. So you don't necessarily have to go to a review center. In fact, sobrang daming online sources where you can get review materials and videos on specific topics na nihihirapan kayo. So hindi nyo talaga kailangan ng review center. But of course, review centers have their own perks kasi syempre sila, you are really disciplined to be in a classroom to really study and work. So pressure ka by the people around you and of course your teachers. So hindi ka, you're less likely to slack off because you're not just at home or in a library just studying on your own. So there are so many options for review centers and I might not I might not mention a lot of them but basically the ones that I know are like Brain Train, Mentors Plus, AG Ahead, UP Link or Uplink. So each of these review centers, I MSA Pavala, each of these review centers have their own teaching style and different reviewers and worksheets. So it's really really important that you know yung mga like ate or kuya nyo who have been in these review centers what their teaching style is because there's no like superior review center because there are different learning styles for each individual so it's really important na alam mo kung paano nagtuturo yung review center na to because it might not work for everyone so pwedeng magbayad ka ng like 10k for a review center na everyone told you would work pero in pala yung teaching style nila hindi nago work for you so please seek opinions from other people, like listen to their experiences. Because you yung may pinakakabisado on how you learn, whether it be in a classroom or on your own. So for online resources, oh my lord, sobrang dami na, as in legit, sobrang dami. So you have the classic yung Crash Course, Khan Academy, tapos local you have Team Laika, which has like a wide array of videos on specific topics like yung mga age problem, yung mga in on at sa uh, English, lahat na nang maisip mo. She even wrote a dedicated reviewer na for college entrance tests if you want to purchase that. Marami rin sa Twitter na nag-release ng mga Google Drive, ng mga mock tests, reviewers, um, mga like, kodigo ng mga formulas na kailangan mo and minsan may mga taong gumagawa ng mga like Twitter quizzes where you can answer different questions this is the beginning so got after so super and dami na accessible ways online for you to get review materials without having to pay any money at all so please utilize them even if nag review center ka na you could also use these online sources kasi super helpful talaga nila Okay, next, so we're gonna go on to the topic of like reviewing itself, like the act of reviewing. So what you want to do is you want to start with the most difficult topics that you encounter per subject. At the very, very start of your summer, you list down mo na lahat ng topics per subject na kailangan mo i-review based on what people said are included in the test itself. So most of the time, general topics lang naman yung sinasama sa college entrance tests. Kaya super, super, parang ang haba, ang laki nung topic range mo. Kasi they just get little bits of each 
to know that you somehow have mastered these sub subject areas. So, list down mo lahat ng topics, tapos i-pinpoint mo agad, like in circle mo dun sa listahan mo, kung alin dun yung super nahihirapan ka, tapos yun na yung pinakauna mo aaralin. Why? In the event na sobrang nahuli ka na mag-start mag-review, tapos super nag-cram ka na, at least yung mga pinakamahirap, alam mo na maski pa paano kung paano i-solve or sagutan, Tapos, hindi ka nag-start dun sa mga kabisado mo na in the first place. Second, it's really important to also join study groups. So, since your entire batch is going through basically the same thing, a lot of people in your batch would want to create study groups para magtulungan kayo sa isa't isa kung para mag-review on certain topics. Kasi baka ikaw, kunyari, nahihirapan ka sa age problems. Baka yung other friend mo, magaling siya doon, tapos meron siyang isang topic na nahihirapan, tapos doon ka magaling. So you can work as a group to review certain topics na nahihirapan kayo to make your lives easier, tapos at least may kasama ka mag-aral. So you can motivate each other to work harder. Number three, you need to make a schedule. Di naman kailangan super tight schedule. Mayroon ka lang general idea na, okay, today, ang aaraling ko is body systems and then photosynthesis. So, at least mayroon ka general idea of what you are going to study tapos mag-focus ka na doon. Hindi yung patalon-talon cuts. Wala lang, nasasayang lang yung oras mo because you keep jumping. And the more you jump onto different subjects, the more likely you're going to forget what you're studying and di ka na talaga makaka-focus. Alright, guys, make a schedule, I promise you. Like, hindi naman kailangan... Like, masundan may schedule mo. Kunyari, may na-miss out ka na one subject topic na hindi na, hindi mo na na, hindi mo na na-review for that day. So, okay lang yun. At least, pwede mo pang i-follow up the next day para ma-make sure mo na lahat ng subject topics na to touch mo. Hindi yung may nakakalimutan ka bigla na, ay, nakalimutan ko aralin yung radicals. Tapos, nahihirapan ka. Pero, let's just, just, just have a more organized system kasi super makakatulong talaga sa iyo yun. Okay? And then lastly, most importantly, of course, is time management. Oh my lord, I cannot even stress enough how important time management is, most especially because you're in your senior year. Sobrang ang daming mangyayari. So super duper mahihirapan ka talagang i-balance yun. Kasi syempre, meron kang studies sa ACADS mo like in your school and yung inaaral mo for your sets. So talagang ooh, kaya ako nakalbo eh. Kaya talaga ako nakalbo. Grabe. Kasi, dude, no joke. The pressure is on. The workload is heavy. But we're gonna fight through it if you manage your time properly. So, hindi pwedeng inuubos mo yung oras mo mag-aral sa sets, tapos bumabagsak ka na sa school, tapos pag bumabagsak ka na sa school, wala, hindi ka nag-graduate. So, wala yung silba yung pag-aral mo sa sets, diba? <laughs> Gosh, this is so stressful. This is stress ako bigla ulit. <laughs> so, kailangan mo manage mo yung time mo na you give enough time to study for your actual, like, school, school work. You study for sets, but you also have time to rest and for leisure and to spend with your family and your friends. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng magtago ka na lang sa library at mag-aral ka buong araw kasi mababaliw tayong lahat doon. Alright? Please! Oh my God! Yun pala! Please do not forget to eat and drink water. The tendency for us is to study for so long tapos biglang wala nang pumapasok sa isip mo tapos hindi ka na makafocus. It's because you forgot to eat or you forgot to drink water. So please, sobrang important ng breaks. Kaya important na may schedule ka para na allot mo yung day mo or yung afternoon mo or yung night mo for all the things that you need to address. Use all the free time that you have in a day to study for your sets. Okay? Basta, like, any smallest fraction of time, lunch break, like, in between classes, like, pag naghihintay ka ng teacher, usually, I have these flashcards of, like, simple fractions, mga equations. As soon as lumabas yung teacher, tapos tapos na yung class, lalabas ko na yun, tapos i-review ko na siya ulit na i-review. Kasi minsan matagal yung teacher, it's kesa na nakikipagdaldal ka sa katabay mo or something. Use that time. Utilize your time to study. Okay? Talagang malululun ka kakaaral. I swear to God. So our next part is about applying for school. So a lot of people actually underestimate the whole process of application and the things like your courses and or campuses that you put on your application form. But they are just as important as your reviewing. Well, where they are important. Malaki yung magiging impact ng applications mo to the result that you will get. Application forms are the last thing that will be on your mind during the entire school year. Sobrang daming tao yung nagka-cram ng application form tapos sobrang they spend their entire afternoons 
in the registrar's office or whatever it is submitting their requirements submitting their application forms when they could have been using that time to study so as soon as you get all the necessary requirements that you need for the school that you're applying for kunin mo na lahat yun i-request mo na lahat yun pag binigay na application form fill up mo na send in your applications as soon as possible para wala na sa isip mo and you're good when you get your requirements make sure that you read every requirement like basahin mo na mabuti ko ano yung requirement nila tapos sabay-sabay mo nang kunin yung hindi yung pabalik-balik ka like most especially like sa pictures for some odd reason schools like different schools ask for different kinds of pictures so mayroong mga 2x2 mayroong passport size mayroong 1x1 dami nilang hinihingi so pag pumunta ka na sa like kodakan or pag pipicturean mo kunin mo na lahat ng kailangan mong size lahat ng kailangan mong pose para one time big time mo na lang siya gawin tapos hindi mo na masasayang yung time mo for like other trips going back like as for me nagkamali ako kasi sa Lasal kailangan passport size tapos hindi nakasmile ay eh, nakasmile ako so kailangan ko pang bumalik para magpa-picture ulit na hindi nakasmile na passport size okay so read thoroughly the requirements that the school is asking from you and make sure to get it right all right Right. Now you have to fill in your course choices or campus choices. Campus choices is mainly for UP, so yes. 